Village in Tameside are battling to stop the proposed development of new houses. Now, the Two Trees Fields on Two Tree Lane in Horton Green were the former playing fields of a now closed high school. Tameside Council, who own the site, are preparing a planning application to create about 200 new homes on this site. It's a green site. But local residents are putting up a fight. They've got petitions plenty, 1,400 signatures so far. It's been passed on to the Secretary of State, and they're also. Uh, there was a gathering about the potential development which took place earlier this month. We don't need houses, we need an area for the children. There's nothing here for them. I brought all three of my children up on this estate. This is why I'm so passionate about it. Housing, I don't think, is um, you know an important issue of what the area is needed. It'll cause problems with the traffic, um, building up towards the schools, build up of noise and everything and trouble. I don't think that is a priority. I think it will just bring an influx of people into the area that we can't really cope with. I also think that the crime rate in Orton Green will go through the roof. Most of the people, with maybe about three or four exceptions I've spoke to, have all been against it. There's going to be excess traffic in the rush hour. It would affect my husband because he works in the centre of Manchester. He already has to get a bus, which can sometimes take over an hour. Um, and he says the majority of the time is spent actually trying to get out of Horton Green. So if there's going to be quite a few hundred houses. There's going to be maybe on average two cars per household. So as there's only kind of one road in and one road out going towards Manchester. So it just ends up getting backlogged and can take quite a long time. We have to have, and I stress, we have to have another road because we've only got one road in and that road goes out. And unless we can get some promises that way, there will be no support from the residents in Horton Green. There you go. That's what uh, some residents had to say. Let's speak to your local resident now, Margaret Smethurst. Hello, Margaret. Hello. Hello. I mean, the, f the first person we heard speaking there said we don't need more houses. But the fact is, as a country, we desperately need more houses, don't we? So why shouldn't they be built on this land? Well, historically, Horton Green was a tiny little village. We've given up. All the farms have gone. The green fields mainly have gone. And we're, we're a huge social housing estate with a tiny little village. It, we're still working on medieval road system of one road in, one road out. Right. And it just doesn't work. We can't get in. We can't get out in the morning. How long does it take you? Well, it doesn't take me because I'm retired, but it takes other residents that are working, and I feel very sorry for them. It can take them up to 40 minutes to get out of the, the village in the morning. Just, just to get out of the village? Traffic. Gosh. So yeah. you don't. So so you believe that these houses? Obviously, I I, I I can't picture in my mind's eye where they'd be. But you think these houses where they would build, they wouldn't build other infrastructure roads for them to leave the village a different way. It would all be filtered through. Could. I no. don't think they could, unless they demolish some houses, and that's rather defeating the object. I would have thought. So is it purely a sort of infrastructure issue you've got that if they build all these houses, it, it just means no one's going to be. It's going to be gridlock. Well, that's, that's the main thing, and the traffic pollution. The schools are full, the primary schools are full, um, the GP surgeries are full. You have to make a telephone consultation now to see your GP. We, you can't cope with people going to the surgery anymore. There's so many people in Hart and Green. So there's no plans at all, Margaret, for a new surgery or a new primary school or any extra facilities, just simply more people? Yeah, that's it. And two trees would make a brilliant primary school because it's bigger. But that isn't going to happen, apparently, according to the council. So you've got these buildings here that used to be the high school, and they're, they're simply n not going to be used for educational purposes at all in the future? Well, they'd be, up to 12 months ago, they were used as um, a temporary school accommodation for Russell mm. Scott Primary School. Uh, there were thoughts to be sufficient for that. They've got a new school now. Um, at the moment, they're being used as council offices after they've spent several thousand pounds renovating the buildings. So, what do you want to happen, Margaret? What we want to happen is we need to be realistic about it, and we will. We do accept that when when the school was closed, residents. I, I listened to Councillor Fitzpatrick this morning, yeah. and um, he's not completely correct in some of the things he says. 
residents didn't accept that it would be built on. We didn't. We weren't told it would be built on. We were told that the footprint of the school would eventually be built on. Right. That isn't quite the same thing no. as a, as a 19-acre green field. Um, so we would prefer the footprint of the school was built on. That will give the council some money, and the school was used for. Um, the, sorry, the school field is used for recreational and um, environmental purposes. What's going to happen next then, Margaret? That's what you want. You've handed this petition in. So what's going to happen now? Because well, the planning because hasn't been submitted yet. We know that, of course. Yeah. Yes. Well, up to... Um, say two months ago we were told there wasn't going to be any development we were asking councillors and they were saying they didn't know anything about it mm. so it's it's really it's you know i just wish the council would have some respect for the residents of heart and green and our our way of life and our health so you don't feel they're being honest and open about what their plans are not up to now and i think most people are the same perhaps something will come out at this consultation but by then it will be too late because they will have decided then that what they're going to do and they don't want to listen to us so all we want them, sorry, all we want them to do is to stick to what was agreed and build on the footprint. That will give them some money and some houses and it won't gridlock the village. Other than that we'll be gridlocked. We will have traffic fumes, our children will be damaged with asthma and problems like that and it's just, just not fair. Okay, Margaret. Thank you very much. Keep us up to date with the developments. Thank you very much indeed. That's Margaret Smither. She's a a resident there of uh, Horton Green who says that she does not feel the council are being honest with her and other residents about what the plans for the site are. BBC Radio Manchester.